Hey everybody, we're doing a bit of a taste test of the world today. All around the globe. Yeah, Jeff's world tour. Jeff and Luke's world tour. We're going to Canada. We're going to the UK. And we're going to the USA. Canada Dry Ginger Ale, Vimto Fruity Drink, an a and Root Beer with a bit of an aged vanilla overtone. The USA, if you're not USD, uh, USA, do love a good root beer. Yeah. 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 Let's, um, let's do it. They probably don't like first. some bad ones. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be interesting to see what... I know I'm not a huge fan of root beer. Uh, uh, I don't know if you can remember back to uh, Dr. Pepper. Yeah. Yep. And uh, you get a sense of whatever I feel. There's the colour, vanilla overtones. Both uh, that A and W and the Canada Dry are a um, uh, Dr Pepper, owned by Dr Pepper. Dr Pepper. Oh, it owns all of these. Not all of them. Not the Vinto. Vinto was a different UK <coughs> manufacturer. But these two, Can Dr. Canada Dry and A and W, are Dr Pepper. I thought Dr Pepper was Coke, but uh, I'm I think I think Coke what, uh, might be behind, uh, yeah. be behind that again. It's the man behind the man behind the bar. Yeah, yep. Right. So Thank cheers. You, cheers. Uh, so a bit of uh, root beer. Yeah, and vanilla. Oh. Yeah, you, well you can smell the root beer. Yeah. I, <laughs> uh, I just suddenly got yeah. Dr Pepper. Right. Right. What, what is this? What, what is it, when you first smell that? You think of Dr Pepper. No, 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 no. no, no sorry, oh. sorry, sorry, sorry. What taste do you? Yeah, yeah. What, what do you associate with other than drinks of other sorts? Yeah, well, I, I think like cough, li licorice, cough medicine, cough. Yeah, cough medicine. Yep. Cough medicine. That's why. So if you oh, get okay, a root beer, yeah. it's probably the old elixir. Yeah. yeah. The old doctor. Yep. Juice. Yeah, the snake Dr. oil. Dr Pepper. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, excuse my friend, he's a little slow, that's me. <laughs> definite, definite overtones of all, all of that. Well, actually, it's funny that I think that smell is more offensive than the taste. Yeah, okay. Taste is actually okay. Yeah, it, well, it's definite cough syrup smell. Mm. For, an, for an Australian who's not accustomed to that, because I don't think there's any, not popular Australian soft drinks like that. No, so we so might have sarsaparilla, might sarsaparilla be close one. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and it's not hugely popular, and no. I definitely don't like it. But yeah, that's that to me is just cough medicine that's good. in liquid form. In a, it, without being a syrup, it's just straight out. Soft yeah, and I, I think it's a softer flavour. Yeah, um, and it's got vanilla. The vanilla is there. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, not not huge. Um, and doctor, it's, it's it, okay. oh, it says made with aged vanilla, right? So, yeah, hmm. yeah I can tell you're not. That. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> maybe I'm kidding myself. No, no, no. I think that actually probably softens the, because this. I think the smell is more the root beer. Yeah. And then when you drink it, yeah, you're getting more of that vanilla flavour that's not yeah. making the root beer so yeah. harsh. And I know A and W root beer is hugely popular in the States. So we've just achieved the offensive most offensive remarks of all time <laughs> by A and W root oh, beer. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh. Um, I don't think it's offensive. I, I, I mean I don't mind it actually. I think the vanilla yeah. helps the root beer. Yeah, yep. But, uh, yeah. Yep, say no more. Are you going to clean those? Clean those glasses. Let's wash them down the sink. So I didn't pick up on the vanilla. Aged, Aged vanilla. vanilla. Yeah, sorry. You can have some more. No, 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 it's all good. Thank you. Okay, for me, that's just, it is just okay. Okay, it's okay. I think Dr. Pepper is actually better than that. Okay. Okay, um, again. Okay, again. More okay's. More Wait, you, you want to go to Canada? Why not? Canadian dry. Yeah, I don't think they're that dry. Ginger ale. Made from real ginger. A bit so, like the claim with the, that recent Coke ginger thing. Look at that. Oh, it's very clear. So in Australia we would have ginger beer. I better do it the right way. Oh, you pour it at an angle. Yeah, so it doesn't over bubble. Which I did earlier. Um, it's quite cool. Yeah. Yeah, it's got a little what bit of... Reckon? Well, uh, so we would have ginger beer. What would be yeah. what's the difference with Canadian Dry? 
Okay, well like the Bundaberg ginger beer is quite thick with the the gingeriness. Right. We're back to that sort of see-through soda soft drink look. Yeah. So I imagine way more sweet than anything Bundaberg ginger beer. It smells like lemonade. It does. Yes, it does. Which would, uh, what would they call that in the States? They wouldn't call it lemonade, like a Sprite or a... Yeah, like a Sprite. Yeah. Whatever that okay. is. Very slight ginger beer. Ginger. And I think I understand the dry. It's a, it, it doesn't yeah, it's have not, that it's sweet. Not sweet. Yep. Which is good. Yeah. Uh, it's like yeah, ginger it beer would have a sweetness to it. Yeah. Yep. That has far more... What I should have tried to get is uh, the Coke ginger, compare it with that, but yeah, I think from what I remember of it, I think this is better than the Coke ginger. They make a Club Canadian, I think it's called Club Canadian, uh, whiskey, which has okay. um, both a Coke option and a dry option. I wonder okay. whether that's what they would have it with the Canadian dry. Yeah, okay. So a bit of a mix, you could use it as a mixer then. Yeah, I, I probably wouldn't drink that on its own. Yeah, well I'm, I have to be careful what I say because I'm not a huge soft drink or soda fan anyway. It's it's nice. Yeah. I, I don't it's mind okay. it. It's okay. I don't mind it. It's So far I'd put that as being better than the A&W even though they're quite different drinks. Oh yeah. Well, that, that, that to that. If that's a strong flavour. That's a much yeah. more mild flavour. Yeah. But maybe edging on the not quite enough for me. Okay. It's not interesting enough. Okay. Just needs a little something. It's else. got ginger overtones. I wouldn't say it's got a huge ginger hit. No, it's it. not very strong. I don't think. And now it's caffeine free. Yeah, I think the I hate really. pain for my caffeine. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> That's caffeine free as well. Oh, okay. two caffeine free. Two free's. caffeine free drinks. And what about this last one? Vimto. Vimto. You want me to wash Vim it? Vimto. Sure. Thank wash you. out your cup. Thank you. <laughs> Just a bit of washing going on. Uh, while I read this, Vimto. So this is the uh, Great Britain one, or the the. Yeah, from the UK. UK. A British importer. So. Okay. A fruit drink. With grapes, raspberries, and black currants, three three percent fruit juice. Okay, so those, it should be relatively fruity. So yeah, a, a fruity drink evidently supposed to be good for you. Okay, I'll do the old. I don't know how much sugar's in it, but about we'll out. soon find out. Look at the, you can see the colour. So, so the raspberry, raspberry. Yeah, colouring. It's like the uh, uh, drink we have in Australia called Ribena. Yeah. It's like yep. the uh, Ribena of soft drinks. So another medicinal drink. Yeah. Suitable for vegetarians. <laughs> okay. <laughs> hey, well, why aren't the other ones suitable for vegetarians? Yeah. Yeah. What's in there? I have no uh, idea. Uh, there's some, maybe there's chicken. For them to actually, yeah, that's right. <laughs> meat, some sort oh, of meat product. Everything tastes like chicken. <laughs> Even your soft drinks. But not this one. Not this one. This is <laughs> totally fruit based. Wow. Yeah, fruity. Raspberry. I think. Mean, pick hint up of, the raspberry. But hint of raspberry and maybe heading a little bit more to the cough syrup. Medicinal. End, end of things. <laughs> Dr. Vimto. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, should, they should join forces. Yes. Create some extraordinary cough syrup. Um, uh, it does have more of a fruity taste than the yeah. ginger beer. Oh, sorry, the um, root beer. Yeah. Um, it's it's like a, a fruit juice syrup that's been uh, carbonated. Yeah. That's how it, that's how it comes across to me. Yeah, right. Being a carbonated <laughs> black currant juice. <laughs> Um, yeah, it's it's fine. Yeah, it's fine. Uh, if you're really thirsty, that probably would be quite good. <laughs> You'd have to be really. Dying. If you're in the desert, you hadn't had anything to drink. In the in Australian quite a few days. outback. 
<laughs> thousands of miles, kilometres, yeah. from anywhere, and someone exactly. came up with a can of Vimto. Yeah. You might drink you, it. Then you might drink no, it. No, <laughs> 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 no thanks, you have it. Um, <laughs> um, no, I think you, you, it would actually be quite refreshing. Yeah. yeah. Um, it, yes, <laughs> that's right. Seriously, yeah. It, it's, sorry. It's, it's not that. <laughs> not like that at all. Um, it's funny, actually. You just reminded me that on Family Feud, there was a survey question for the audience that they do for the questions. And it was, name a, a great Australian desert. Okay. And the... <sighs> The answer, the highest answer that came back was Pavlova. Pavlova? Think about it. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Yes. Okay. Everyone back to school. I'm thinking the Great Sandy Desert, the Tanami Desert. Of course, Pavlova. <laughs> Great Australian Desert. Well, on that <laughs> hilarious note... <laughs> We're, oh, we, we should grade them. Okay. Which, which one do you think is... I actually better? like that the best. Wow. After what we've said about it, that's... <laughs> yeah, okay. Well, I, 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 I'm I'd, sorry. For me, for me, it'd be... That would be in the middle. It'd be like that. Oh, yeah. You can't see the other one. Those three. That, that's how I'd go. Canada Dry. You'd go... Uh, I'd probably go almost the opposite, I think. Okay. Yeah. A and W. All right. Yeah. There you go, guys. What do you reckon about you that? Go. If you've had... These, all of them, or some of them. What do you think about them? Yeah, that's going to create a family feud. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, be quite a bit of feuding over that lot. Oh, I like that. Add your entertaining comments to the section below. Yes, or degrading comments, or comments about how you don't like the background. Yeah. Anything you don't like, yep. just chuck yeah. them in there. We don't care. <laughs> we'll see you all again very soon. Cheers. Cheers. I like that one. Mm. Ah, there you go. We're done. We're done. Sorry if I um, made you have lots more ugly <laughs> comments on this one. Yes! All part of the entertainment. <sighs> I love, love a good troll story. Particularly when they fall off the bridge. Or get killed. Nastily. <laughs>